how to set up RAID on OS X Lion, Mountain Lion, and Mavericks. If we take two hard drives running at 3 gigabits each and set them up in the RAID, this will combine both of their speeds and make them run at 6 gigabits altogether. This will allow you to access your data up to two times faster. But before we proceed, let's make sure that your specific MacBook is capable of getting the speed boost. Click on the Apple logo in the top left of your screen and click about this Mac. On the next window, click more info. Here you will find your MacBook size and year. We'll need this information. Go ahead and open up the Safari browser. Navigate to AppleDollars.com. Once at AppleDollars.com, click on Upgrade. Click on Setup RAID System. Choose MacBook RAID Setup. Scroll down. Here you'll find all of the MacBook tests that were conducted with a dual SSD RAID system. You'll be able to determine whether installing a RAID system on your MacBook will be the right move. Now that we have this information, let's see what we're going to need. We're going to need a toolkit that has a Phillips head and a T6 screwdriver. Two hard drives, preferably solid state disks. Two SATA to USB converter cables. These cables will allow us to set up the hard drives without having to put them inside of the MacBook. We're going to need an optical bay storage adapter. Please note that all of these can be purchased separately at any online retailer or as a kit at AppleDollars.com store. Go ahead and open up your MacBook. Let's plug in both of the SSDs. Plug in the SATA to USB converter into the drive and plug the drive into the USB port on the MacBook. Go ahead and repeat the same procedure for the second drive. Please note that we'll be cloning the current MacBook hard drive onto this RAID setup so both of the drives will have to be plugged in for us to be able to format them and set them up in a RAID system so that we can clone the current hard drive image onto the RAID system. Let's create the RAID. On the top right hand corner of your screen click the spotlight and type in disk utility. Select disk utility from the list and open it up. The disk utility will already have the two hard drives that you have plugged in through the USB. Go ahead and click one of the hard drives and click the RAID tab. Rename the RAID tab set name to Macintosh SSD RAID. Drag each one of the USB drives into the field as shown. Make sure to select red type stripe. Add both of your hard drive sizes together and you should see that estimated size. Click create. This process will take at least two minutes. You might get a warning window that pops up. After this is done you should see Macintosh SSD RAID online. We're done with the disk utility. You can close it now. Open up Safari, head back over to AppleDollars.com. At AppleDollars.com, click on Downloads. Select CCC 3.5 and download it. After Carbon Copy Cloner 3.5 is downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Carbon Copy Cloner is a 30 day free trial disk image copy software. You can click the trial 
although it's a good idea to purchase it, we'll keep things free for now. Under the select source, click your current MacBook hard drive. Under the destination, click the newly created Macintosh SSD RAID. Click clone. You will be prompted for your password. Type it in. This process can take anywhere from 15 minutes to multiple hours depending on how much data you have. Once successfully completed, you can go ahead and close Carbon Copy Cloner. Click Safari and navigate back to AppleDollars.com. We'll need to get information on how to replace your DVD drive with an optical based storage adapter. Click on MacBooks at the AppleDollars.com front page. Select your MacBook size. Now select your MacBook year. For us it is a 15 inch 2010 model. Here you'll find an interactive map. Locate the DVD drive on this map and watch the video on how to replace it. We'll be replacing the DVD drive with an optical bay. So you will need to know exactly how to remove it. This video will show you how to do it step by step. These videos include all part numbers and screws from start to finish. Once you've familiarized yourself and know exactly how to replace the DVD drive, we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Go ahead and close out all the windows shut down the MacBook. Once shut down, you can go ahead and remove both of the SSDs that are now configured in array. Unplug them. Know that your machine is completely cloned to both of these drives now. Let's take out our optical bay drive adapter. It doesn't really matter which drive that you put into the optical adapter as both of them will recognize each other. Go ahead and unscrew the adapter screws and insert the SATA drive right into the adapter. Make sure it's firmly in and the connection is made. Now screw the screws in so that the hard drive is firmly inside the adapter. The adapter is now ready. Let's flip over the MacBook. You'll need to remove the screws and remove the panel. Let's install the first drive in first. On this specific model, you'll need to loosen up the two Phillips head screws to remove the hard drive bracket. Disconnect the original hard drive. Now let's remove the DVD drive. Disconnect the Wi-Fi cable and the iSight cable. Now disconnect the DVD drive SATA cable. Go ahead and remove the two Phillips head screws that are securing the Wi-Fi card bracket. Now let's remove three Phillips head screws that are securing the DVD drive in place. There's one in the top left corner, one in the bottom left corner, and one in the rear middle. After removing those three screws, we can lift up the drive. We'll need to disconnect the SATA drive uh, cable adapter and the two Phillips head screws that are securing the rear screw bracket. 
we'll need to transfer these two things. Let's take out our optical bay adapter. It's shaped the same way as the DVD drive. Let's go ahead and reattach the rear screw bracket with the two Phillips head screws. Now attach the SATA converter cable. Place the bay adapter into the slot and reconnect it to the logic board. Secure the three Phillips head screws. Remove the four T6 hard drive screws from the old hard drive. We'll need these screws for the new SATA RAID drive. Transfer them on. All MacBooks use T6 screws for the hard drive. Go ahead and plug the drive in, place it in at an angle, and drop it into its socket. Secure it with the hard drive bracket that's attached with two Phillips head screws. Go ahead and reattach the Wi-Fi card bracket with two Phillips head screws. The long ones on the left side and the shorter one will be securing the right side of the bracket. Now plug in the EyeSight camera cable first. Next, plug in the Wi-Fi card cable. This concludes this installation. Replace the cover and secure it with the 10 Phillips head screws. There is one last step that we need to do. We need to power on the unit, hold Command Option P and R keys down at the same time before we see the gray screen. Keep holding it down until the screen turns black, then you can let go. We've just performed an NVRAM reset. This will allow our system to boot up much faster because it'll know exactly where the disk is now. We're all done. Thanks for watching.